Have you ever been asked to do something at, I don't know, at school or at a friend's house and you just went along with it because everyone else went along with it? Going with the crowd often seems like it's the safe choice and sometimes it's the good thing to do to go along with the crowd. In fact, sometimes I think I don't do it enough, but going along with the crowd can also be dangerous. In Matthew chapter 27, we get the story of this guy named Pilate. And I don't think some sort of red baron who's flying in uh, World War One. No, 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 no. Uh, what I'm talking about is the guy who was in charge of all of the area of Israel at the time he was in charge of. He couldn't figure out why the religious leaders had brought Jesus to him and wanted to kill Jesus. As far as he could tell, Jesus had never done anything wrong at all. And even his wife t told him, hey, don't do anything to this Jesus guy. Like, I'm warning you. Like, I, I've had a vision. I don't think you should do it. So don't do anything to him. And Pilate really tries not to do anything to Jesus. He talks to the leaders and he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. He hasn't done anything wrong. He uses the fact that it's a religious holiday, it's the Passover, so usually during Passover the Romans would release someone that was in prison back to the people as a show of good faith. Like maybe they had done something wrong, picked someone to, to kill that they shouldn't have, so they were going to let the crowd decide. Pilate is like, okay, this is what I'll do. I'll release Jesus to the people because the people, they know that Jesus hasn't done anything wrong, so of course they will release him to, or they, they will want him back, they will ask for him back. So I'm going to take Jesus and I'm going to say, do you want Jesus, this guy who's done nothing wrong, or Barabbas, this guy that we know has done wrong things? Which one do you want? Which one do you think that the crowd chose? And because the religious leaders were there in the crowd, they cheered, give us Barabbas, we want Barabbas, because they wanted to kill Jesus, even though Jesus hadn't done anything wrong. And they even paid other people in the crowd to say that they wanted Barabbas. So Pilate was like, well, I guess I have to give him Barabbas. Here you go. Pilate did everything that he could think of to release Jesus, except for he didn't want the crowd to be mad at him and for him to have to bring soldiers against the crowd. And so he said, you know what? Bring me a water bowl. And he takes a water bowl and he wipes his hands and he says, this is on you guys. This isn't on me. But even by doing that, even by still allowing Jesus to be taken, he's still going with the crowd and saying, okay crowd, whatever you want. When Pilate washed his hands of this, the crowd even said, that's fine, our children will take the guilt for this. The, the crowd is basically saying, we don't care what happens, we want what we want to be done. Sometimes what the crowd wants is fine to go along with. But sometimes it's very not okay to go with. So it's important when you are asked to do something that you know what the crowd is trying to do, why they're trying to do it, because otherwise you could get caught in the same situation that Pilate was, where you're just going along with the crowd and the crowd wants something that's not good. So come back on Wednesday, we're gonna talk a little bit more about crowds and how to stand up to the crowd because it's difficult to do that, but sometimes it's important. I wish that Pilate had stood up to the crowd. Thanks for checking out Bible Made Elementary. As always, you can click right there to subscribe or you can click right there to find other videos with all sorts of topics that can help you get a little bit closer to God. I will see you guys on Wednesday. Ready, one, two, three.